काव्य कारवा पॉडकास्ट इट इज ईजी फॉर यू टू सेट ऑन योर चेयर एंड सिप कॉफीज वाइल कोटिंग ऑन द सिचुएशन इट इज ईजी फॉर यू टू आर्ग्यू अबाउट द कंडीशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इट इज ईजी फॉर यू टू सिंपथाइज द डेड बट यू नो वॉट लाइफ इज मच वर्स फॉर अस आर सोफाज एंड काउचेज फ्रिक अस लाइक नीडल्स नाउ I appreciate your empathy but lamenting over what you're missing and what should have been done there are families like mine struggling showering cash and currencies to buy an ounce of life and then there are those worse than us begging for a penny or a cylinder to survive screaming out loud to get heard so that their loved ones can breathe for another day not all of us have luxuries but even money cannot save lives while this storm has wrapped the world My family is wrapped by a different kind of tornado. This girl who never saw a dead body in 20 years of her life saw her dearest losing their breaths one after another. You say you understand, but you cannot. Now, I walk in the old room, probably the biggest one in our villa. The two chairs where two most jaunty people sat with the faces of angels are empty now. one passed away struggling while we didn't have the slightest idea of what was happening my granny she was the most fun loving strong person of the family she was the magnet who got us stuck together she was the soul in our bodies she never missed a chance to sing in public she secretly helped everyone by sacrificing her needs the poor were more dear to her than her own grandchildren In 60 years of her age she argued with my father and rode on a horse tattoo on a straight peak in Kashmir Although when she got old it was hard for her to walk and yet she cooked every single thing just like me She never hesitated to speak up the truth and while she had fought fiercely with every disease in the past she lost this battle which was surely unacceptable for us Her demise curated my grandfather the high end of our family people literally never dared to look into his eyes in respect and even supreme officials bent their head and shook hands with him he was revered its support for the government while he prioritized helping others before himself and his family just like granny now when i enter in that room both the chairs are empty granny got buried while dada is in the hospital struggling for every breath i have not seen my father for over a week as he's now taking care of dada you think just lamenting over the situation is easy while you are living well in your homes we are unable to eat a bite or sleep for a second this is not easy i see people dying every now and then with the same grief that overwhelmed my family is now torturing others i cannot save lives but at least i can help i started calling out for people who can help others and those in need texted me with their requests i used my sources and social media to track the availabilities and it was just yesterday when a girl came asking for plasma donors it took me 6 hours to get back to her with requested details and i was late we lost another soul in just the lapse of 6 hours and here i am with a heavy heart and lost hopes I see no end to this and the ultimate end for me is near. I don't see light but maybe you do. You may cheer me up but I'm just too lost to be brought back. Every now and then I'm hearing the news of my relatives and acquaintances passing away just like the swirl of wind grinding anyone in its way. Maybe I'm the next one or maybe you are. But as long as you're breathing, don't just sit. Do anything that can benefit the situation. Pile up contacts, flush out flyers, help anyone whom you can. Buy extra vegetables so that the vendor can have two square meals. Supply water in the poor localities or give your maid a break without cutting out her salary. If you cannot do anything, then at least use your fingers and tap on your screens and help anyone or boost morals of people shattered. We cannot hope for anything ourselves. Let us become the hope for others. You might not become a Sonu Sood, but you can be one of those warriors who are continuously battling to save lives. There are hundreds of heroes out there who don't care for their own livelihood, 
but all they care is about how to sustain lives of our people. Be one of them and not those who just rest at their homes mocking and commenting on the situations, complaining about the situation while breathing freely in air because with every single inhale of air, somewhere a family is losing his son or daughter, a husband is losing his wife, a child is losing his parents, and us, well, we are losing one or another.